Peggy 18. Hey campers, we're your hosts James A. Janice and Chelsea Rebecca of Dead Meat. Tonight, we're hiking deep into the woods of North Kill, New York to experience firsthand Supermassive Games and 2K's new horror experience, The Quarry. It just released on consoles and PC. Joining us is the game's director, Will Biles, and seated around the campfire are several members of the game's all-star cast, including David Arquette, who plays camp leader Mr. H, Ted Raimi, North Kill's local sheriff, as well as Halston Sage, Miles Robbins, and Zach Tinker, three of our seriously unlucky camp counselors. All right, so today we're gonna sit around the campfire and jump into the game. Will, you mind telling us what the quarry is and uh, you know what this is all about? The Quarry is basically, it's a playable horror movie, teen horror movie. Uh, there are nine camp counselors uh, spending one extra night at camp after all the kids have left. Uh, and it's your choices uh, to take them through that night and either have them survive the entire night or die. Everyone can live, everyone can die. So for everyone at home, we're actually filming this right before the game's release, which means most of the cast here haven't really seen the game. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. correct. Well, how does it feel now that you are finally releasing the game? It's a massive relief, to be honest. I've been working on this for four years, the team, uh, for, for about the same. Uh, it's been quite a ride. When we got to shooting, that's just about when COVID hit. We tried a remote shoot with uh, Halston and Zach to start off with. I was a, a face on an iPad on a stick. They rolled him around. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Oh it was, it was, I was like a little child because I was about this high yeah. and I'd have to go to be wheeled down the other side of the studio. Well, let's see some of that stuff. Uh, are we ready Jeez. to play? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So I will give a quick note on spoilers. We're going to be showing plenty of gameplay, so consider yourselves warned. Will, can you tell us about what we're going to play? Uh, yeah, okay, so what I'll do is I'll start us off kind of really, really early on in the, in the prologue. This will be where two counselors are uh, driving to summer camp, literally the night before it all opens up. Uh, they swerve off the road into the woods. Laura goes and thinks she sees a lady, an old lady, walking around, so she follows her, obviously, uh, into the woods. She gets very scared. They come running back, they jump into the car, and that's where we're going to join them. Okay, so all that stuff you just described already happened. So that's just happened, yes. Okay, yeah. and we're picking it up there. Yeah. We're okay. We're safe in the car, really. We're gonna be okay. Jeez! Oh, ah! fuck! Oh, not oh Ted Raimi. God. It is Ted Raimi. <laughs> Roll it down. Hi, officer. How are you doing this evening? Are either of you injured? No. Uh, well, she bumped her head. Well, barely, barely bumped it. I mean, I, can, I can't even feel it. My bump, not my head. I'm fine. Really, we're fine. We're just a little shaken up. There's mm. something wrong with you there, Ted. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's a, he needs a little, he needs some help. <laughs> it's weird to see Ted as an intimidating character and, like, done well. Yeah, have you so nice. You folks want to tell me what nice. happened here? I'm afraid of you. Uh-oh. Okay. Half chosen. Thanks, Miles. Okay, what are we going to do? Okay. Do not. Yeah. Do not. Uh, an animal. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Um, it's just, it, it, don't know what kind. It was so fast and... I'm like sweating. Yeah. <laughs> well, it was most likely. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Oh, no. The cop seems unsure. He's on, yeah. The car running. This sure. is path chosen, that means like, it's set. That's yeah. locked in. So yeah. there's, there's other bifurcations, yeah. but that's going to be the okay. this? The music is scary. Yeah. Oh, Make that's it right. Right. I mean, sound is so crucial to horror. And what I love about this is it is a horror movie as a game. And a lot of times when people watch horror movies, they're always yelling at the do characters. Do that, do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now you they actually have a chance to do that. Exactly. Yeah. Now you folks want to tell me just what in the hell you are doing all the way out here this late at night. Did you shoot mostly in chronological order? Uh, no, we are gonna shoot around, certainly around actors' uh, availability. Okay, so we'll just move on a little bit from that last bit where they were driving off towards the camp. You, you've seen the Evil Dead, right? Laura's gone and had a little look around, trying to explore, no one's there. Hello? It's completely desolate. But there's something is down in the basement. So they've broken their way in. Are you hurt? Do you exist? 
I think as scary as some of the cut scenes are in Until Dawn, for me, the well, most- Maybe it was a possum or something. No, there was, there was someone here. Like walking yeah. around is the scariest hey. part of these games. Uh -oh. It's been kind of a night, you know? Let's just get to the motel. We can come back here first thing in the morning. We can check everything out, but I mean, you must be exhausted. I know I am. Is that reverse is vertigo? Is it Oh! oh. oh. See? Max! I was just focused on the Zolly. I know. <laughs> Max! You're gonna be just fine. <laughs> Don't you worry, you look great. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. I think I'm bleeding a lot. What are we gonna do? Help him, dude! Yeah, help yeah, help Max. Max! Yeah, help him! Help Max. Yeah. Yes! Sounds help like him. we gotta help Max. He's a nice guy. No, no, leave it. No! no. no. Yeah. You gotta be quicker with the. <laughs> okay, okay. That gets, yeah, that can get very awkward if you do it. Yeah. <laughs> She actually remember, did this. She did Do you remember this? that? She lit yeah. you up those stairs. She got oh a standing God. ovation. She deserved it. Yeah. It was really good. Oh, did, oh were there physical? Yeah, yeah. Him up? yeah. 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 Like, well, like a dummy. Yeah, but yeah. It was the same oh, weight okay. and size. He wasn't there. Did the, the whole time. thing. <laughs> yeah, I did see some of the behind the scenes of filming, and there were like wooden staircases and oh, stuff. No. Oh, gosh. <laughs> All her hard work. <laughs> I, oh, oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Hey. No, Tedster. So Ted. <laughs> what? Just Does like this it. look like the goddamn Harbinger Motel to you? <laughs> no. Every little movement. See a Harbinger Motel, motel like the Harbinger oh, of yeah, Doom. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, yeah. Yeah. Oh, is this the prologue? Like, is this the end of the prologue yeah. then? Okay, great intro to the game. I love the tone of this already. It's so fun. Yeah, yeah this, this shot is great. Yeah. Love this needle drop. You forget this doesn't exist. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I know. This isn't an actual play. Yeah. So in terms of coordinating those performances then, like in a scene where you have characters kissing and those actors physically aren't actually doing that, how do you then kind of, yeah, coordinate all of that? Or do you, do you alter anything after the fact? Because you do essentially have these 3D rigs of all of these actors. Yeah, that's right. So we've got, um, yeah, they're, they're, they're proper full CG rigs. They're, um, they're, obviously the characters have all these little dots up there and the, and the, the studio uh, is like a Vicon studio. So this, we're using infrared light uh, to reflect off the dots and it kind of captures it in 3D. That, um, that gets sent through to the bones, to the rig, like you said. Once that's digitized and it's in uh, Maya and, and Unreal, we can do whatever we like with them. Yeah, they're, they're like puppets then. <laughs> we, I mean, uh, to be honest, we don't want to. I mean, the reason we choose actors like this is because they're really good at acting and we don't want to muck about with that. Okay, we're just going to jump back in and uh, I think we're going to talk, uh, have Ryan talk to Chris, who's uh, played by David. Yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> Ryan and uh, Chris are going back to his office to look for his keys. So that's where we are now. Uh, Chris, I I'm actually glad we got a moment to talk. Uh, uh-oh, I'm not fired, am I? <laughs> no, no, it's, um, it's just, you know, about the whole thing w with the... Hold that thought, partner. I'm going to have to take this. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> Hello. Okay. Eavesdrop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Now is the podcast the podcast that you guys have been? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's so oh, cool. Yeah. Did you create a podcast for this game? Yeah. Oh, that's so fun. That's great. That's some good immersion. I like the Western <laughs> score for David. I feel like you always get a little Western yeah. score and oh, stuff. Yeah, sure, you know me. Just hold your damn horses, <laughs> all right? Everything's A-OK -okay on this end. Bobby and I are geared up. If he's in the area, this is a waste of time. You know it, I know it. No, should I have? 
Try staying out of the way. Speaking of which, the longer you keep me on this damn phone, the longer it's gonna take me to get rid of these damn kids. Yeah. Of course, adios. When you're kind of designing the characters and when you're working with like, you know, the 3D rigs and stuff, is there a limit or did you kind of give yourself a limit on how realistic you wanted them to look or was the goal to make them look as much like the actual people as possible? So, de so definitely wanted them to look like the people, the level of branching in something like this. Um, it's almost impossible to do live action because of all of the, not just the variations in branching, but the variations in in things like makeup. As the game gets further and further forward, then there's clothes differences, there's wounds. Injuries, yeah. All that sort of stuff. So to be able to do that to the level of branching that this has, and it's literally thousands by the time you get to the end of, of branches if you count variations. So we make that entire game beforehand in storyboard. Um, and then we do it in layout. So all of that stuff's worked out. It means it's a little bit tricky when it comes to the shoot. So these guys have to be fairly specific and, and keep to the script quite closely. And I do remember like, there was even a few times where we were going so fast that even you had to look at that chart. Oh God, like, I tell you, yeah. Figure, like, oh wait, where are we? I'm like, man, even the director gets lost, so I don't feel that bad. Yeah, and I think this is the first time it's ever been done to this level in a runtime rig, I think ever. I mean, he's amazing. I, that's why, yeah, you can see the pores and just the detail is, yeah. I also love that you can watch it in film mode, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> you can watch the watch whole thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so movie. yeah, you can go into all the playable characters and set their personality up. You set them up for all the characters and then just hit play. And then That's set the great. controller down and just and, watch? And just watch. And, and uh, we have no idea how they're going to play out. Shall I, shall I get onto the next section? Yeah. yeah. Emma, uh, <laughs> Emma has just been swimming in the lake. That's one of the reasons she's not wearing much clothes to start off with, many clothes. Um, She's found the tree house um, because they've sort of seen some smoke there earlier. So she's just gonna have a little look at that. She's walk just about to walk in. And here we are, as promised, one extremely rickety and even more underwhelming tree house. In another world, perhaps young Jacob and I would settle down here and play house together. Honey, I'm home. What's that now? I forgot the children's bedtime. Well now, that's a fine how do you do. They actually had built a treehouse looking structure. Oh, oh really? for you to interact with? This? Pretty cool. Oh God, no. Did you hear that? Cool. Looks like we have a choice on our hands. Do we snoop through someone else's belongings or do we open the spooky trap door and die a horrible, painful death? Open it. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. oh, it's always a good idea to open the trap door. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. There we go. Oh, she warned Ashley. you, though. She, she called it. She knows. She is consensually dying here. <laughs> Goodbye, real world. world. And it's easy to bring up to a trap door is going to be no fine. Climbing yeah. the ladder, by the way, while taking a, a selfie video. Oh, oh, my oh. God. Oh, oh. 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 oh my God. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> that is scary. She warned you. Wow. I don't know what I was expecting to fall out of there, but it guy. wasn't. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was going to be like a booby trap. Not yeah, a... not a guy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so we, we've got uh, three lives. Should we use one of our yes. lives? Yes. 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 Is this a new yes. feature? Was yeah. this, this was not an Until Dawn. No. Okay. So we want to keep the, the threat of death, but also sometimes it's just like, oh, I, did, I didn't mean that. You know what yeah. I mean? Is the three for each character? Or no, for... three for the whole okay. game. So we're going to search back. Okay. That's what we're going to do. Thank you. A little, <laughs> a little werewolf comes out. I was going to say, there's a guy in there. A <laughs> <laughs> the guy pops out of the bag. <laughs> this is so crazy. Oh, oh taser. Yeah. Oh wow, this is be like putting a nine volt battery on your arm. What are you doing? Oh, I was Goodbye, cruel world. <laughs> the final curtain is calling and there's no time for an encore. Okay, get ready everyone. Oh no. Jason. Oh, it's still there. Jason. Get him! Get him! Get him, me, Taser! This is Taser! Here's Spirit Taser! 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 Taser!
Oh, oh. run, Halston! Ah! Uh -oh. You get oh, it right? Oh, you did right! Oh, you did. Oh, okay. thank okay. you. Okay, good job. <laughs> <laughs> Your life is in his hands. No! Oh, oh, nice! Yeah. Yeah. Nice! Oh, girl, go! Oh, oh no. You. That was fun! Oh, did I? Okay. Nice. Oh, was that tapping one? Yeah. Okay. Were you? Did you have? Did you actually pull yourself up on something on the day, or were you just pretending? No, pretending. Oh, oh God! Why? Oh, teeth on that thing. Run or spray. Well, run. I'm gonna run. 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 Yeah, run. 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 You gotta run. Spray didn't do much. Spray did not do much. Run through the rest of the obstacle course. Faster. I can't. Yeah, walk. gotta help. Go up. Go up. Oh, no. No. Oh God. Well, oh, oh, no. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, get it. Oh, yes, get it. yes, get it. Oh, yeah! yeah. <laughs> Take that! Uh-oh. Oh, oh, no. Oh, oh, no, no. Step, don't, yeah. Uh, there are so many ways for her to die. <laughs> I'm strong. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I like that. Go live in his home. Uh, oh, go live okay. in his home. Live in his home. <laughs> what do I do? What do I do? <laughs> Squatter's right. Go live in his home. Oh. Will, you know, you know. I'm trapped though. I'm going I mean, trapped. Go live in his home. There can't be a second. Oh my god. You're right. Ooh. Very nice. Yeah. Yes. Very nice. Yeah, go, 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 go. It's a mop. Oh. Oh, is that too far? Is that me? How much running around did you actually have to do? A lot. Did a lot. Yeah, because yeah. you filmed in a giant open space, right? With like grid, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. grid on yeah, the floor yeah, that yeah, I saw. Yeah. yeah, it was like a gym membership. It was, yeah. <laughs> it was fun. We're gonna now jump to just after the, the scene with Emma in the treehouse. Obviously, bad stuffs happened. <laughs> they try and try and get help. Phones aren't working, again, obviously. Ryan and Dylan are going to the radio shack to see if Dylan, who's kind of like a, a bit of a whiz kid with the, with the radios, can try and get some help by calling out. So we're gonna join them just as they approach there. Whoa, the oh. devil. What, the devil? Okay, so yeah, if, if you go through the game, there are tarot cards okay. all the way through. Uh, you collect those at the end of each chapter. You can go and visit the fortune teller and she'll give you cool. wow. upgrates. In the I remember there was something like totems? In yeah, yeah in Until Dawn, dawn same yeah. sort of thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Which is another aspect to the game that's not just the exploring and decision yeah, yeah. making. Oh. Ah! Whoa. <laughs> Bad things are gonna happen. Was that <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Uh, not important right yeah, now. Yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm steering him. Yeah. You're steering him, okay. Yeah. I love being steered. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to take you straight up to the shack. I'm not going to do too much exploration. You can obviously, when you, when you play it normally, you can yeah. you can hunt around and. It's a radio hut, actually. Couldn't get the uh, licensing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this place is kind of a dump, huh? I was gonna say comedy. Okay, when I was a camper here, it was barely working. Oh yeah, definitely. It hadn't been used for years, and it took me a really long time actually to get this place cleaned up and looking the way it is. So I'm sorry if it's not up to your standards, but I've been putting in a lot of TLC. Okay. 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 Let me get this set up. Check it. I got a ping on the radio, but no response. I'm gonna head to the Wait, did he did he say lodge? I don't know. Two males in the radio shack near the cabins. Another couple unaccounted for. Oh, that's terrifying. Copy that. Um, now. Reassuring. <laughs> that's, that's, that's reassuring. There might be two other guys in a radio chat. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? So reassuring. That was when he heard people. As the player character, I, okay. <laughs> I'm sure they were talking. I guess it's just this note. Uh, I don't know. I, it really, really sounded like they were. But that's that's not possible, right? Oh, shit. That was a very creepy moment. Yeah. I like that a lot. They know where we are, man. 
We can't stay here. Shit. Shit. Okay, let's let, let's stay calm, okay? Um, let's let's go find Caitlin and everybody, okay? Okay, yeah. Okay. Ah! Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Uh, uh. Why didn't you tell me that there's something out? There? <laughs> That's a very good question. Uh. <laughs> Fuck you! I, I I didn't know what I saw. You saw something, and you didn't think that you should fucking tell me. I forgot. I mean, the I, the guys came on the radio. He has got the shotgun. Okay. Does he always have the shotgun here? No, no. That, oh, oh. oh, here, yes. Okay. Well, well, yes. There's a few choices. Oh, Ooh. okay. Okay, she gotta aim it. Oh. No, save your bullet, save your bullet. I, I'm gonna fire. Okay. <laughs> no, I, I missed it. Uh -oh. what, was that? what is that? Fuck. What? Caitlin, Abby, and Nick, they're coming up the path. Oh, shit. They're coming toward us. We, we, we gotta warn them. Um, What about the PA? Up top? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, we can tell um, them to hide or something. Yeah. Uh, oh, fuck no! Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, hold the button. Uh, Caitlin, get into a building now. Do not come up here. There's an animal outside the radio hut. Get, get, get into the cabin now. Go, go! Can you blast whenever you want? Well, no, can... only when the, the, it kind of the opens prompt. up. Yeah, okay. Really Just the writing and the directing in these games. It's so good at building oh, tension. Like we're all in rapture, <laughs> <laughs> waiting to see what happens. Aggressive. You gotta kill it. <laughs> I like the way you play. <laughs> yeah. It's not a normal animal, man. I don't think a gun's gonna cut it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Got a better idea? Well, if it's got hearing like a like a dog, maybe. Uh, I mean, we could we could play a really high pitched feedback loop and crank it to the max. Like, I mean, it would hurt like hell, but. Okay, fine. Let's do it. Feedback thing. All right. Oh crap. It pulled the wire. Fix it. I'll cover you. Yeah, I'll cover you, man. <laughs> like, come on. Oh, oh man. Oh! 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 Shoot me! <laughs> you just put him out of his Oh! oh! Cut it off! Okay, uh, uh just hang out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck! Yeah. 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 Okay, 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 just, just hang on, hang on. Blow it off with a shotgun. Fuck. One step ahead. <laughs> shotgun, 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 shotgun! Shoot it off! Do it for Ted. It's not a good decision. It's probably better with a chance. Oh, you can oh, aim it too. Oh, God. Oh, God. Anyway, there we go. We're stuck with that. Plug it, plug it into the thing. <laughs> oh, you just got a chainsaw. Oh, oh. <laughs> Dude, you just saw what happened when he was up there with his arm. What do I do? What do I do? The button, the button. <laughs> the button, my arm. Oh, God. Oh, God. Well, you just oh, we blew the one speaker. arm shorter, but we it did worked. it. We did the trick. Uh, nice work, Dylan. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> oh, wow. oh, wow. And the, the character.
your oh, yeah. screen. Yeah. There's blood and all over all his blood. face. Wow, that's yeah. great. Does that change with what you've done in the game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, wow, that's great. Did you I'm have to wear him. a sleeve or anything, or do you not need that? I once? had to act. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it was. Uh, yeah, what well, it is? Yeah, then the rest of the game, I had to remember not to use this hand just okay. in case we didn't blow it off, and then. <laughs> what I really love about these games. Uh, this game and Until Dawn is that like the decisions actually do change the course of the game. The story isn't just a line with an ending and then another ending. Mm -hmm. It's like literally the story is different all the way through and that includes conversations. Yeah. So there's, it's always about the journey. It's always about the, the things that happen along the way. Um, and then there's also the endings as well, a whole bunch of endings. I think that really adds to the tension too, especially in a horror game. If you don't feel like your choices matter, especially when it's life and death, that takes away so much tension. And yeah. We're going to jump in again here. This is uh, much further on. Um... <laughs> oh, God, Emma! Ah, oh, Jesus Christ! So Emma has escaped from the treehouse earlier on, what we saw. Jacob, who's gone a very different route and is just about to find her because he's been uh, trying, to, trying to hunt her down. Oh, my God, no way. Am I glad to see you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ! Ah! You left me back there, you asshole. Oh, God, Emma, come on. Oh, God. What the fuck is going on? Look, I don't know, okay? Some, like, bear attacked Nick and Abby back there. Yeah, me too, but it definitely was not a bear. What? Who? Do you remember this? When? <laughs> Why? Sorry, I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you're okay. Yeah, barely. I mean, the thing that attacked me at the treehouse was like... What? It was like what, Emma? Oh, I've got to do stuff. Oh, yeah. Well, you better not let me die. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 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 no. Oh, oh come on. Oh, it's like, get him, get him! It's like Bat Boy. Oh, it's like Bat Boy. Oh, God, I just let you go! Oh, no. So you got knocked through the rings. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna run, I'm gonna run. run, run. run. <laughs> You big baby. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. No, I'm, I'm gonna fail this. Uh oh. 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 oh this isn't gonna be good. Oh. 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 And you said they didn't actually hang you upside down for that? No, they, they had me, I started here. Okay. And then I went like this and pretended I was like hanging. Oh, You're on a roller coaster or something. Basically, yeah, yeah. okay. Basically. <laughs> well, this has been so much fun. Thank you for having us. It was really cool to share this with you. You guys hadn't seen this yet. No. This was so neat. First time. Yeah. Yeah, what'd you guys end up thinking of everything you saw from the game? Unreal. It's insane. I was like, I didn't understand how, how well that we were captured. Yeah, I didn't know that. I especially coming from what, like what we were saying, it's you're on a stage with nothing there. I mean, a few props here and there, but like, so seeing it fully rendered and it's just it's mind blowing. Yeah, yeah it's. I, I mean, I've always wanted to die, so it's really wonderful <laughs> to have that opportunity. I mean, as a fan of horror films and and video games, it's just a dream to be a part of something so incredible. Just. Watching it and watching you watch us and laughing <laughs> along, it's just it's an experience of like, ah, no, and I just love that. Well, I was really excited to work with Will and to have this motion capture experience was really exciting and to see it play out was just amazing, especially with all of you guys. It was really a good time. Yeah, was that the first time that all of you did motion capture? Yeah. yeah. Yes, yeah. I think it was also, this is the first time we've all been sitting in the same, even the same, uh, within We're, 10 miles of each other. Yeah. Think, the whole time. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's the kind of the magic of mo modern filmmaking like this. 
it's pretty interesting stuff. Uh, well, thanks, guys, so much for uh, for doing this. This has been brilliant. It's been really good fun. Uh, it's really nice killing you all over and over again. <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant. We're uh, super excited. I can't wait for you to play. The game's out now. Uh, I know, right? Um, go ahead. Go and play it. Uh, play it with your friends. Uh, play it with your enemies. <laughs> <laughs>